All right, hello, everyone. Welcome to the Monday by 1000 Days Challenge. Today is day 537, so let's get things started. All right, so first and foremost, uh, balance remains flat. Nothing much has changed. Oh, yeah, one thing I realized is uh, I did have a loss uh, for the link itself. We actually triggered a stop loss when I went for long. So I'll be updating the main trading card setup negative or, uh, close to 100 based on that. And if you look in terms of other setup right now, I'm not in any of the setup right now. So my experimental setup is once again put on hold, simply because of the drawdown actually put back down back to a little bit of a negative, but otherwise nothing too significant or to, to, be, to be concerned about. So as it is, uh, if you look in terms of US market-wise, we do look to have some sort of healthy pullback on the daily chart. So S&P 500 and Nasdaq still looks to be a healthy pullback. So nothing much has changed. Yeah. Nothing much has changed as both of them, the price remains strongly above the 200-day simple moving average. On the other hand, for Asia Shard, like what I mentioned, looks to be a little bit bearish, but currently still consolidating near the support region itself. So as long as it can maintain above the $36 region itself, so tentatively overall, the market still looks okay and could still be consolidating to move towards the upside. But of course, a break towards the downside thereafter would definitely be a much more drastic, whatever setting drop would be more likely. So for Kim itself, definitely looks to be weaker by the day like what I mentioned, I do not want you to stay at this region for more than a week or two. So right now, this is the second week that we are staying near the support region itself. So to me, the key thing about this kind of price action and hovering around the weakness or the key support is that it doesn't show that there's signs of capitulation. So not to say that we cannot bounce right back up, but a kind of V-shaped recovery would instill a much stronger buying follow-up thereafter by the people itself. So you can see that is what happened in say the March 2020 to April 2020 period, but we have a very sharp drop and a very sharp pause thereafter. And then it followed through for the for yeah ever since then until today itself for the US market, it has been extremely strong for the past one and a half year or so. So that's the kind of V-shaped kind of capitulation that you would definitely like to see if you're looking to buy for a long term long position. You want a very sharp drop and a very sharp bounce and thereafter, it could be a very good entry point for a long-term hold in that sense. All right, so for finally, Bitcoin itself, like I mentioned, I did enter a short uh, since yesterday-ish, and with a very tight stop loss. So if it does hit 40.8k region itself, I'll move the stop loss to break even, because it could have further downside to it. If we do break towards the 40k mark, definitely we could revisit the 36k to even 32k region itself, in which case I'll be very keen to add in more in terms of my long-term position hold. Otherwise, that's more or less about it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop by your comments below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.